How's it going? I'm gonna test the Lich app out here on my DJI Mini 2. Just on the year uh, DJI released the SDK giving all the other apps access to it. So now it has different auto follow features. I'm gonna try one of them now uh, while I actually practice off-roading for my tour later this year and see how it goes. Uh, wish me luck. Hopefully me or neither the drone crash. No, no, no crashies for me and dronies. And well, I guess no whammies if no off-road cars hit me and crap, I forgot the third thing. <laughs> Whatever. Being this was my first time actually using the drone to auto follow, I didn't trust it 100%. So you can see here, me looking back and up, I was basically making sure the drone was still there. It is falling perfectly. Um, it's keeping me in the center frame. For the most part, anyways. Here I just left the little uh, residential path I have there and back into more of a off-roading track. Kind of amazing on camera. That was actually quite a steep climb right there, but pretty much looks like just about nothing. Does seem to struggle a slight bit there around the turns, but it immediately picks right back up and puts me back into center frame. Oh, what's actually pretty cool about this auto follow mode is there's several different ways you can do it. You can have the uh, drone fixed um, to look off from the east back to you or any other direction for that matter to give you, um, you can give it like a side view. You could uh, have it in front of you, actually filming backwards as it's uh, flying in front of you. Up oh, here I am going back into uh, a little residential area just for a second to get back on the path there. It, it's a little bit of a, well the Shrava, it's called the, the weed wax. So yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a a challenge to find the exact way to go through this but I've done it a few times now so I'm starting to get a little bit of a hang of it. There I was resetting the the camera go, to go to a higher um, altitude. Starting to get nervous because this slightly does go uphill as I'm going up this. I didn't want it to you know get anywhere near the earth and hit anything. The uh, DJI Mini doesn't doesn't really have any kind of sensors other than on the bottom so it could pretty much run right into a side of a cliff or a tree or just about anything. Oh, there you can see I got buried a little bit in the sand on that turn. I, yeah, I never can keep in motion on that turn. If I was making the video look like really cool, I would have just cut out that part and made it look totally sh like I was keeping in motion. Yeah, it's another one of those. The climb is actually, it's got, got some, uh, you climb up a good good 10 feet there, but it on camera it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's uh, about three, three and a half feet tall, to tell you the truth. Yeah, this, I believe this here curves right back around and connects. Yep, connecting right back into uh, another residential path there. A lot of people on Strava call this little uh, area here Millionaire's Row. It's quite quite some nice houses through here. I 
here's one of the coming up is a really important turn. I've actually just started getting used to it. Shouldn't be too much further ahead. Um, Cause otherwise I miss my little, uh, little part where it goes down into a river. And I gotta get that one. Otherwise I'm, I'm way too close up against some kind of fence that is there. It's a, uh, got metal railing and stuff. Yeah, here I go, I'm going off to it. <laughs> Just pretty much through memorization, I'm not too sure what kind of landmark. Uh, I guess you can see the fence coming up in the distance and now you need to go off to the side there. Yeah, here it goes down into the river. And I didn't have enough speed, so of course I have to walk up. Checking to make sure the drone's still there, but yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a trust thing. It's a little spot I usually go along because the path there for a while goes into the river. Uh, it's real rocky. I'm a real big fan of it. It's a combination of real big rocks and sand. So I kind of push along this fence here. Uh, I'm slowly clearing the path here. <laughs> I'm breaking back some of the Palo Verdes. Um, if anybody doesn't know, the Palo Verdes are these green trees. They have these these monstrous thorns on them. And uh, pretty much when you brush by them, they, they rip you right open. I'm starting to call them uh, whenever it does, and I got red, red blood running down my arm. I'm starting to call it the uh, Arizona tattoo. Oh, looks like I found myself some more sand there. That's why I'm all going off to the side of the road. A lot of people uh, take little dune buggies and stuff off on this. Arizona is usually the nicest right after it uh, rains a few times and it dries up. The ground becomes real hard, but after a while, Everything starts to turn into a powder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Point made right there with uh, riding into sand. It's like uh, the road kind of goes into a little bit of a river there. It's a little hard to ride through. I try to do it anyways, you end up peeling out. Um, I actually have my street touring tires still on. I, uh, I need to switch back to my, uh, my knobby off-road tires. But yeah, this is, this is definitely cool. I, I love the way this drone is following. It's uh, a... <laughs> This is going to definitely up my safety and up the kind of shots I'm able to get while I'm actually on the bike. Uh, it's a little difficult to film your film yourself, but slowly start trying to get some of the skill sets to be able to do it. That's kind of what I was out doing doing today. I was uh, using the new Lich app to get used to it, uh, the autopilot, make sure I know what I'm doing with that, and then I was also setting up those shots where you see me riding by. Uh, <laughs> Those are actually a little bit funny uh, for anybody that does touring and doesn't film it. Um, basically a little bit more extra work. Uh, makes me a little extra slower because I have to put down the camera, ride past it, come back and get the camera. This is this is actually the first, first time I've ever done that on all my tours. I, I always knew about the technique, but I don't know. I guess maybe I'm a little bit lazy. I never actually... Uh, decided to do it <laughs> the idea of riding back is like uh. but yeah I, I think some of them turned out real good especially the like the ones in the beginning where i'm using all three cameras or all three sorry all two both cameras i'm using the drone and then transitioning into the front camera and then as i ride past it i flip the camera around and make it all seem seamless i i thought it looked pretty good i don't know let me let know in the comments below uh, what you guys thought about those shots. A uh, little waste of time, or they look good? I, I, th I think they personally, I think they look good. But I, I know sometimes uh, a lot of the YouTubers overuse them. That's any any kind of technique. Like for example, with the drone footage right here. Uh, normally, I would not leave the drone footage on for this long. Um, humans have short attention spans. Usually you need to sh shift the frame every five seconds, uh, if not every 15 seconds, change to a different angle or something. I mean, yeah, I think it's getting worse with modern time. I think we're really starting to get short attention spans. But... 
And you can see here it's slightly putting me off off the center of the frame. I'm not too sure what that's about. I'm not sure if that's because I I gained altitude and it's still thinking I'm down at the original altitude, so it thinks it's pointing center at me. I'm not too sure, but overall I'm definitely definitely satisfied with the Lich app. It's I mean it's in beta, but I mean, this is this is definitely awesome. This is I think it was a couple of miles that I have the drone following me. Um, almost with no control. I did did reset it at a moment. Ah, here, here we go. I'm really off frame. Yeah, I, I wish Lich would some way to detect or get from the maps the altitude I was at if that is the glitch. And right there, that's where the battery got low enough that it wants to return to home. So I ended up canceling that out, of course, because it would have went all the way back. I'll have to get home and review the footage, but from what I could tell, that was really, really cool. Um, before, I had to ride the bike and fly the drone at the same time. It's kind of like three jobs, being a pilot, being a bike rider, and being a cameraman. It's a little problematic. Some people are better masters at it than others. Uh, like say Doozer, that's kind of where I learned the technique from, was flying and riding the bike at the same time but it, it is it's a little sketchy but yeah this this new uh app by lich is really cool cool you have to apply for beta to be able to get it by the way just to keep anybody from getting frustrated anyways my dgi is nagging at me because it wants to land so have a good day